Okay, hello everyone and welcome to To Learn channel. My name is Enric Persetio and this time we gonna learn how to load skin or load our level in our game in Unity Game Engine. So let's get started. Okay, here I've created my folder named Skin Management to store my project in Unity because I don't want to create too many projects on my disk so let's create a new folder inside and I'm gonna name it script and then create a new folder again let's just name it skin or maybe level okay level just pretty makes sense and then let's make a new script here create C subscript let's just name it game skin yeah that's pretty makes sense double click on it to open and uh, I'm using Visual Studio it will take a while to load and here we go we don't need this update and star function so let's just delete it and then as always like my like most of my videos I will firstly make a variable let's type public um no 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 this time I'm not gonna start with a variable let's start with a new method here because maybe we don't need variable let's create public void load skin oh why we need the public method because I will access this method outside this class later on uh, let's create the parameter we're gonna need string type parameter I'm gonna name it skin name uh, after that here we're gonna load our skin there's two way to load our level in unity game engine let's talk about them and here's the new way the new method is using skin manager the skin manager class which available in inside uh, unity engine dot skin management so let's type in using unity engine dot skin management and the new way is skin manage skin manager dot load skin and here we need to enter the name of the skin which the parameter skin name and that's it that's how it's done that's the new method on how to load your skin and the old way is we use application dot load level method application dot load level and just like before we are gonna need to passing string type argument skin name so these are two way on how to load your level their function is just same yet the application dot load level is just duplicate or just too old to use and the skin manager dot load skin is the new way where skin manager is available in unity engine dot skin management namespace so you need to add it to your script um, actually skin manager dot load skin has some overload method you can as you can also load skin by skin index and you can also add load skin mode so here's for example i will load my skin with load skin mode dot additive there's two options additive and single and the difference between those two options are if single you will just load your skin alone you're just load only one skin then the additive is it will load but additively which you your previous scan will not be destroyed when you load your next skin yet they will be merged 
into your skin that you like so let's delete this first and then make new variable here make public variable load skin mod I'm just gonna name it load mod and let's enter the default cell way for them load skin mod dot single and here on the second argument let's enter load mod which is our own variable and oh yeah let's create another overload method here public void load skin so you can pick one your choice of method and let's add a parameter here type integer scan index and here skin manager dot load scan skin index Oh, oops I type the wrong type in this this is not ENR but it's ENT integer skin index comma load mod and that's it boom done that's how it's done and for more clean code let's add namespace here namespace I'm just gonna name it skin tooth move our code into our newly created namespace so save it open unity and now how to open your skin how to load our skin I'm gonna load it with a button in my game with unity UI so when so when we press the button the scan will be load and in this case we're gonna open multiple scan in our game so let's create new UI text and when we create a text a new canvas will be automatically created move your text reposition to make it visible and let's type in here skin1 oops uh, I'm facing the skin in the wrong direction so let's hit the 2d to go button skin1 make your text be white make it bigger alignment middle center okay let's save it hit ctrl s and let's save it in skin management folder on the level subfolder I'm gonna name it skin1 hit save and then let's change our text into scan2 and then save it but this time rather than save scan we're gonna use save skin as save it as a new file a new name save it in level folder and name it skin2 and then hit save and then let's create one more scan save as scan name it scan3 and save and last but not least we need to create the main menu so we don't need this text anymore create new button I'm just gonna name it load button and the text load skin 1 and then duplicate it twice reposition the button and then change your text of the other button load skin to this 
Rods Gen 3 And in this button, let's create a new game object first And then name it Skin Manager Add new component Game Skin or our Game Skin script Choose Load Mode into Single And then, after that, select the buttons, 3 of them and inside on click events, hit the plus icon and then drag and drop your skin manager object into this slot and select the function here select game skin and then select what skin string and after that select your button one by one and here type skin one do the same thing to the other button Skin 2, Skin 3, and that's it. Hit Ctrl Save. Oops. Woohoo. I'm forget. I'm forget to save this skin as. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's continue our video. I've just paused this video because I had a little technical difficulty. So, Skin 3. Delete the Skin 3. And then we duplicate skin 2 and name it skin 3 and then change the text to skin 3 and yeah we finish it oops I'm forget one more thing let's make back button here right click on game object canvas select UI and then select button drag it to the corner select the anchor preset into top left so the button will always stick on the corner and oops yeah let's create new game object name it skin manager and add new component game skin and then add event to the button on click load skin and then enter my menu into the argument and then here let's type back so we can back to our main menu skin so now let's go back into skin 2 hit ctrl v because i've already hit ctrl c on the preview scan to copy the object create new empty game object skin manager add new component game skin and add event to the button just like before and then save your skin hit ctrl s select your button and skin manager and then hit ctrl c open skin 1 and then hit ctrl v and let and let's drag the button into canvas and boom done finish now we open main skin and don't forget to add your whole new level into the build settings so let's select all the skin in the folder drag it and drop it here and yeah we finish let's test it open your game view hit play yeah here we go so this button will load the skin, the skin one, when we click it, and as well as the other. So let's hit the first button to test it. Woohoo, it works! We are now in the skin one. Let's get back to the main menu. Whoops, there's an error. In main menu could not be loaded because it has not been added into the build settings. So the point is we forget to add skin main menu to the build settings and and actually I type a wrong skin name in the button back. I type main menu but in here the name is main skin. So let's rename it, it will be easy, and the build settings will be updated too. And then, 
Let's try it again. Load skin one. Yeah, that works. Hit button back. Yeah, we are in the main menu. Load skin two. It works. Go back to main menu. It works. Load skin three, and it works. So, so that's how it works. That's how it's done. And yeah, that's it. The point is, we can load our skin with a button that we create with Unity UI system using Skin Manager in the Skin Management. We only use a few line of codes, well actually only one line. Okay, and in the next tutorial, in the next videos, I will show you how to load skin mode additive and how to make your level unlocking system and cross skin background music for your games. So stay tuned on my channel. So thumbs up this video if you like it, hit share if you found this tutorial useful and subscribe if you want more videos. Bye bye!